Hey, hello and welcome to today's GFG problem of the day. Hope you're doing well. So let's see today's problem. Find all triplets with zero sum. Okay, so what the problem is saying is we'll be given an array. Okay, and we want to find all possible indices of triplets, R of I, R of J, R of K in the array, whose sum is equal to zero. Okay, return indices of triplets in any order. And all the written triplet indices should also be internally sorted. Okay, the condition I should be less than J, should be less than K, should hold. Okay, so this is a dif uh, the difficulty is easy level. But I think it, it could have been medium level because it's tedious uh, to solve this problem rather than uh, complex. Okay. But uh, I'll, I'll definitely, I'll make it very easy for you. Okay. And also one request, please, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment on the video, because at the end, the subscriptions is the thing that motivates me to, to create uh, videos, to create solutions for you. Okay. Thank you so much. So let's quickly see what the problem is trying to say first. Okay. So we'll be given an array. Okay. And we want to return all the indices of the elements whose sum of the three elements whose sum is equal to zero. So what are those? What are those elements here? So one of one of the one of the triplet is zero. This like one of the triplet is this and this. So if you see, uh, sorry, one two three, not this one. Sorry, this one, right? So zero minus one plus one, right? Which gives us. Uh, the sum as zero. Okay. And we want to consider or we want to return the indices of this. So what is the indices here? So zero, right? Zero, then we have one and we have four, right? So these are the indices. Another triplet is, another triplet is two, three, and four. So if you see two, three, and four, so this one, two, this one, right? This one and this one. So if you see two minus three plus one, which gives us zero. Okay. So this, so what are the indices for this? Two, three and four is the index. Okay. Is, are the indices. Okay. Okay. So I hope you have got the problem now how to solve this problem. So first of all, let's see the naive approach. Okay. Okay. So first of all, what we can do is we can have three for loops int i equal to zero to n minus two. We'll say then we can have the third second for loop as j equal to i plus one. Okay. To n minus one. Okay. And third for loop we can have is we can have is um, k equal to j plus one to n okay so if you see so yes so each follow will be for example each follow is for one element okay so three follows for three element and then we can check air, air of i plus air of j plus air of k contributes to zero or not if they contribute to zero simply record these indices i j and k add into some list and return the list okay okay so this will solve your problem but it will take o of n cube okay okay now we have to see whether there's a better solution, right? Which can take lesser time complexity. Okay. So let's see if we have such, uh, if, if we have such algorithm here. Okay. Okay. Now what the ask is, sorry. What the ask is, ask is simple that we want to return the indices. We want to return the indices of what? For example, the ask is R of I plus R of J plus R of K. Right, R of K should be equal to zero. The sum of three elements should be equal to zero. When I is not equal to J, uh, J is not equal to K. Okay, so this is the condition. Okay, so if we if we twist or simply some modify this formula, so what we can do is R of I plus R of J equal to zero minus R of K, which is nothing but again minus of A of K. Okay, so we are going to use this formula to solve this problem. Okay, we are going to use this formula to solve this problem. Okay, now what we can do is, what we'll do is, we'll take a map. Okay, we'll take a map. Okay, of and uh, the map will be key and the value. Definitely, you know, map has key and value pair. And the key will be, key will be this part. R of I plus R of J, we are going to add. And value will be the indices. Okay, the indices of R of I and R of J. Okay. So for example, let's consider this one, right? This array here, zero minus one, two minus three and one. Okay. Let's consider this array. So what we're going to do is we are going to have two follows for one would be, I will be starting from here and J will be starting from here. Okay. So what we're going to do is we are going to iterate through this array. Okay. So how the follow will look like for I equal to zero to N minus one and Second follow will be for j equal to i plus 1, i plus 1 to n. Okay. Now what are we going to do? So we, for example, i, I is here, j is here, right? i is here, j is here. So what are we going to do? 0 plus minus 1, which will give us minus 1. 
and we will also add the indices okay we will add the indices zero uh, what is the indices zero and one okay one pair of index is this okay then what are we going to do we are going to move our j j here so zero plus two two right zero plus two i and j the elements pointing at i and j zero plus two two okay so what are the index for that zero and two right then again we'll modify j j zero zero minus three right which will give us minus three okay which will give us minus three and the index for this is zero comma uh yeah zero comma three right zero comma three then j will again will increment here j again will increment here what what will be the zero plus one which will give us one right one and what will be the what will be the index zero comma four right similarly so now we are done iterating uh, i when i is zero right so now we will increment our i okay and our j will start with here j will start with this element okay okay so if you see again this will be a bigger problem then so what the the idea here is we are going to store we are going to store this right this particular a r of i plus r of j into this key key into the map okay and the index so it may be the case that r of i plus r of j there can be like same same r of i plus r of j for example 3 comma 4 comma 3 is the element right so we're going to add 3 plus 4 right 3 plus 4 for example here the index is 0 1 2 3 plus 4 which will be 7 right so what are we going to do 0 comma 1 will be the index again when we come to this right 4 plus 3 again it is 7 but the index is what 1 comma 2 so it may be the case that there is some can be same so we'll add the indices accordingly okay we'll add the indices accordingly so first step is to store this r of i plus r of j into the map okay so let's do that let's do that so we'll we'll go and code step wise okay so before going to the code i'll also request you to subscribe to my channel like the video comment on the video okay thank you so much so first i'll show the java code followed by c plus plus okay so here integer comma list of int we'll say list of integer array okay why we're doing this why we're doing this we want to so the value why it is like this because because the index i have already shown right the indices can be multiple right like this the indices can be multiple so you want to store this right that is why okay so let's have new hash map okay then what are we going to do we are going to iterate I, as i explained right i equal to zero i less than n plus plus i okay for in j equal to i plus one we are going to say right i plus one we don't want to have duplicate elements right first of all let's have n as well n equal to r dot length we'll say okay here it is going to be n minus one and here it is going to be n plus plus i sorry plus plus j my bad okay then we have two follows now what are we going to do in sum equal to r of i plus r of j we are going to say right and then if we are going to check if map dot contains key we're going to check if it is not there if it is if the sum is not there right if the sum is not there then add an entry of this sum sum and we'll add a empty array list okay just to have an entry here and then post this we are going to add map dot get right get sum right definitely we are going to get the sum because we if it is if it was not there the sum was not there we are added here right the entry and add the indices now okay how are we going to add the indices uh yeah so add new int right new int sorry new int i comma j that's what we are saying right so that's what we have done the step one we have added r of i and r of j okay r of i and r of j that's what i've explained this right we've added this r of i plus r of j into the map and their respective indices okay now what we're going to do is now we will iterate through our array okay we will iterate through our array and we're going to find we are going to find we are going to find this particular right we're going to find this particular if it is part of map okay so okay so that's what we're going to do minus of r of k right so what are you going to do for int k equal to k equal to 0 k less than n plus plus k right plus plus k right and what we are going to check here is int for, for example remainder equal to minus minus r of i minus r of i okay minus r of i and we are going to 
we are going to check if this is present map dot contains okay map dot contains remainder okay that's what we are doing here is now we are returning to the elements of array and we are checking for this whether this is this is part of if we find if we find that okay some array element some array element is 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 present in the is present in the map okay that means we have found our triplet that means we have found our triplet okay we can say we, we have found a triplet okay so here we will say map dot contains key right contains key okay we will say map dot contains key now we are going to what we are going to do yeah so we have found our so what we are going to do list of in we are we are going to fetch that pairs right pairs of indices okay all the indices we are going to fetch map dot get map dot get remainder okay remainder okay now what are we going to do here we are going to iterate through these pairs right we have found p p and pairs right and we are also going to check no the index the indices should not be duplicate or same right we are going to check that so we have p0 it should not be equal to k and then p of 1 it should not be equal to k right that means all the indices are different right then only we have found a triplet okay now what are we going to do we are going to take a hash set first let's take a set of list of integer we are going to say result set equal to new hash set i'll explain why we are taking hash set here because we may find duplicate triplets okay we want to avoid those we want to avoid those duplicate triplets okay so first of all what are you going to do list of integer current okay arrays as list as list we are going to take this k comma p of zero we have found a triplet right the three indices p of one okay we are taking this in the list and as as what they are saying they are saying the indices should also be internally sorted so we want to sort this indices right collections dot sort will say which will sort the indices the, the triplet basically which will sort the triplet and we are going to add result set dot add this triplet correct okay okay so this is it now finally what we want to do is we want to return list of list right we want to return list of list here right list of list so what are you going to do return new array list we'll say and we'll pass our result set okay we'll pass our result set so this is it let's compile it sorry my bad there's some wrong something wrong here so r of i it shouldn't be r of i it should be r of k okay and map dot add they're saying okay sorry it should be put okay it should be put and now let's compile it I think it should compile it successfully this time. Okay. Yes, we have found our expert. No, let yeah. The output and expected order matches. Let's submit it. So I hope I hope you've got the solution. Okay. So the test case are being processed. Please, please subscribe to my channel, like the video. Let's quickly see the C code as well. So here again, uh, let's let me quickly explain the time complexity here. So it is going to be O of n square. Okay, better than the previous which we saw O of n cube, right? And definitely here we are taking extra space, right? Again, it is, I think it is going to be the space complexity will be O of n square again because we are taking extra space, okay? So let me let me quickly show the C++ code here. So here is the C++ code and don't worry, I'll also attach the code in the comment section, both C++ and Java. Okay, so here we are taking an ordered map and then we are iterating through the, uh, right? And what we are pushing here is R of i plus R of j, okay? The, for the left side of the formula. Okay, and we are pushing the indices. And then what we are doing? We are iterating through the array. Okay, and we are searching. We will be searching for the third element, right? Which is R of K. Okay, minus R of K, we will be searching according to the formula. So if you find it in the map, then we fetch the pairs. We fetch the pairs and then we check whether the all the indices should be unique, right? The indices should be unique. We are adding into the vector, sorting, and then inserting into the set. And then finally, we are retaining vector of vector. Okay. So this is a solution. I'll attach the code also in the comment section. Thanks for watching. I hope you got the solution. Please subscribe to my channel, like the video, have a happy, healthy and a great day. Thank you so much.